What's going on everybody? I am JB and I'm back with another video dealing with these here dreadlocks. And on this go round, we're gonna talk about how to reattach a lock that has fallen off. As you can see in my hand, I'm holding a piece of a Congo that was been, you know, flirting with coming off for a while. So I went ahead and pulled it off and I was like, hey, you know what? This would be a good idea to show you guys how to reattach a lock that has broken off. So, as you can see, um, the ends are frayed, and that's how they should be. If you and you're going to make sure both ends are frayed, the end for the lock that is broken off, and the piece that you want to bring it back to. This is my crochet hook. It is a 0 0.75 millimeter uh, crochet hook, single um, crochet hook. I've had it for a while. I actually used this crochet hook to start my locks um, three years ago. All right, so I thought it'd be best to go ahead and get a band to just just take back the hair that's going to be in my face to try to move them out the way um, so I can just focus on the section that I'm doing, that I'm working on. Um, then try to figure out what I'm going to do with this other little piece of lock, but hey, I decided to go ahead and let it stick around. All right, so as you see, I'm just making sure that the ends are frayed. You know, that that's what I'm going to be working with, guys, just frayed ends. And I can kind of place it and position it to about where I want it to be, where I want the end result to be, and just line it up. And I'm about to get started. So the thing is, you can do this with any, any of your locks, you know, locks that are weakened. If you want to strengthen them up, that's what you want to do. Um, so as you see, the motion I'm going is in and out, in and out. I'm basically pulling in those loose hairs and bringing them in and kind of twisting the lock as I go. Um, very particular. I'm, I know I'm looking a little crazy right now, but I'm, I'm focused. That's my focus look. <laughs> but yeah, it's just in and out a few times as you go around the lock. Uh, just make sure you get all those loose hairs that's off to the sides. And just turn it as you go. You know, you just want to build up that strength because that's what's going to help this lock be strong in its center. You know, that's the thing with uh, using the crochet hook. You kind of force the lock to be mature uh, faster using the crochet hook. All right. And in the moments when I take my time to go in and out, is I'm just, I'm, it's a particular hair I'm, I'm trying to pull through in a particular section. You know, and using my fingers to kind of be my guide to know what ends I need to hit more. So I just kind of just tested it out to see, okay, you know, where I, you know, where it's a little weaker at, where I can pull in some strength at. But pretty much, guys, the the lock is there. I mean, you know, it's it's reattached. You know, really, hey, if you hadn't seen it apart from each other, you wouldn't think that was two pieces at one point. They look uniform still. There's some touch-ups that I did here after the fact of recording this video, um, just to make just to make it stronger. But hey, that's pretty much it, guys. It once was a broken off lock, now it's back together again, and it's good to go. And you know, I feel it around, kind of you know, feel if it's it could be a little strengthened and stuff like that. If it's you know a little weaker in some spots, but you know that's when I go and touch it back up again. But this time. It just basically just real meticulous about where I'm doing it at because hey the bulk the the bulk of the work has already been done. You know. Now it's just strengthening the lock. That's all I'm doing here. And you notice my motion is going up and down. And as when I started off it was more sideways, like you know, just horizontal. But then as I'm basically pulling hair from the uh from the Congo portion and bringing it into the base and in other ways I would go the opposite direction I'll bring it from the base into the Congo you know just intermingling those those hairs I think it's best if you have a crochet hook that has two and two um, hooks on it but hey this is how you do it with a single hook
But I hope this video has been helpful. I hope if you're if, if a lock of yours is broken off and you want to reattach it, don't lose hope. You know, don't lose the sight of things. It's okay. You can reattach your locks. That's the beautiful thing about locks. If break off, as long as you got some hair there, you can bring it right on back. I love locks, man. But it's there. The lock is now repaired. And we're good to go. We'll do more videos like this in the future as well as life goes on with the locks. I hope this has been helpful for you. Remember, I am JB. Jesus is the way. And until next time, guys, peace out.